So now we are going to see about the very rich step PO and uh, global scanning MBPT for PV system under partial shading condition. Okay. So here we are going to see about this topic. So here they are given some uh, algorithm. So this algorithm for variable step MPPT. Okay. So first we need to measure voltage and current of the PV panel. After that we have to measure current instant power and previous instant power. So next you have to compare that the current instant power with the previous instant power. This condition is true. Then next, next you have to compare the current instant voltage with the previous instant voltage. This condition also true. Then we need to uh, decrement the duty cycle or else you have to increment the duty cycle in order to get the maximum power point maximum power from the solar panel okay same way if condition is not true then once again we need to check the voltage in current instant and previous instant after that so based upon condition the condition is true means we need to increment the duty cycle or we need to decrement the duty cycle for step calculation that means variable step calculation so you have to consider the absolute value of that uh, power difference in the between current instant to previous instant that means the difference between absolute difference between p of k and uh, p of k minus 1 okay so based upon this power difference between current and previous instant so we have to vary the step okay so this is the logic in the variable step uh, PO algorithm so next the variable step with the global scanning so same kind of operation we have to apply first after that the first it, first time we are getting some maximum power so that power going to be considered as a p1 and it going to be stored as a current maximum power power right for the solar panel after that you once again you have to execute that variable step po and then you have to calculate second maximum power after that you have to compare both that mean uh, comparing that uh, current power with the previous power that means maximum power if condition is true means so we need to set that means we need to set the due to a new maximum power point and then otherwise we have to keep the maximum power point to previous one so this will be continue up to more number of iterations so it will be so it will be keep on uh, executing uh, with the variable step PO and then we have to calculate the maximum power and then compare with the previous uh, that will calculate the uh, power from that to current variable step uh, P and 2 and then we have to calculate that will compare with the uh, maximum power point stored right so it will be happen uh, every iteration okay if suppose in between okay in between or every iteration you need to check another condition also that means the, the power difference between current instant that means uh, sorry you consider so the power different different difference between p2 and pmp for example second iteration so it will be is around 15 watts right 
so what's the meaning uh, they will be happen during only uh, partial shading condition changing so partial shading uh, change from some that mean uh, some point to another point irradiation going to be changed to one point to another point okay so we will get some uh, difference in the power right if any power differences occur in the system in partial shading uh, pv system then we need to re restart the whole process in order to find out the new global maximum point okay so for that you have to check the restart condition whether the power difference between current instant and previous instant or uh, actual power with the maximum power stored in the algorithm right so if the difference is greater than 15 so we need to restart the algorithm once again in order to figure out the next global point okay so here during that what will be happen so you have to make uh, v volt and the p volt right so the maximum power stored in the algorithm is going to be uh, changed to zero and then the previous voltage is changed to zero so after that it will be start again to search the new global point okay so this is the logic begin this algorithm so same algorithm will be implemented here so here we are using three panel connected in series okay and then uh, it receive irradiation each panel will see irradiation right okay and then here we are uh, maintain the temperature equal 25 degree celsius so after that this pv systems connected to the load okay via boost converter so here we are giving input for the each panel so here uh, first panel will see thousand watts per meter square the second panel i am uh, providing the variable step change in irradiation so initially is maintained at the 400 so after that it will be changed to 100 so 1000 and then the third panel is 600 watts per meter square right and then here you can see that so this is a variable step and global scanning mbpt algorithm so it received three inputs pv panel voltage and current and then uh, restart condition so restart condition is uh, developed based upon actual power of the pv panel and then power stored in the p and o algorithm so that will variable step p and o algorithm it is going to be compared after that it take absolute value and then you have to check the value is greater than 15 if it is greater than 15 you need to restart this mbpt algorithm right okay so now you can go inside that one so in order to implement this variable step global scanning mbpt so here you can see that you have to initialize some initial parameter that parameter all uh, initial duty cycle maximum duty cycle and minimum duty cycle and then <coughs> change in uh, duty cycle but it's not mandatory for this algorithm sorry sorry uh, change in duty cycle sorry change in duty cycle after that initially you have to assign some global variable that means v volt p volt p volt m and p m p p right so this is the initial variable to v volt p volt t volt to store the previous uh, instant voltage power and duty cycle so m is to for finding the variable step and p m p p is for storing the maximum power from the each iteration right so initially you have to check the value for v volt if it is empty then you have to assign the value for v volt p volt and t volt and the value for m and the value for power at the maximum power point okay so next you have to calculate power by using this formula that means uh, 
the voltage and current of the PV panel and then you have to calculate power difference between current instant to previous instant so that means you have to take P minus P volt okay after that you have to calculate change in step that means uh, variable step by using this formula absolute of change in power so next you have to compare that uh, power with the previous that means stored power initial stored maximum power condition is true then we need to check the voltage this voltage current instant voltage less than v volt then we need to uh, decrement the duty cycle by the amount of del dt into m so it will be create variable step okay so if condition is not true we need to increment the duty cycle if suppose this condition is not true so you need to once again check the voltage level v is less than v volt if this condition is true then we need to increment the duty cycle or decrement the duty cycle okay so this process will be happen during this execution of this code so after uh, generating duty cycle you need to check the duty cycle the duty cycle value is less than uh, or uh, less than t max or uh, greater than uh, so less than t minimum or uh, greater than t max okay if uh, duty cycle generated duty cycle is greater than t max okay or less than t minimum so we need to fix the duty cycle as uh, that means we got to make the duty cycle current duty cycle to previous duty cycle right so next to process we have to take comparison of that uh, power between current power to the previous maximum power right if current power is greater than the maximum power ma maximum power that means previous iteration power stored power maximum power then we have to make pmpp equal to p otherwise you would use same pmp as it is so it can be stored in the algorithm right so next you have to make another swapping of that uh, duty cycle okay so d volt can be changed to current to current duty cycle v volt change to current voltage and p volt change to current power and then next you have to check the condition if rs is greater than zero or not that means if any changes irradiation changes occur in the pv panel so you have to check if it is the, any irradiation changes occur this condition is true then we have to reset the previous voltage and previous power and the stored maximum power okay so this algorithm will be keep on executing in order to get the maximum power from the pv panel under partial shading condition so next i'm going to simulate this model so we'll get the clear idea so initially condition will be 1400 600 model is running now so here you can see that model is tried to extract the maximum power Yeah, after once again the irradiation change from 1000 so 400 to 1000 so because of that you can see that the algorithm is tried to scan the next global maximum point so this is the working of this model now i am going to change the irradiation once again to 400 now so we will see the power extraction so now i change that model irradiation to 400 once again here you can see that 
the p and algorithm change to that mean try to figure out then the actual global point of for that particular condition right now we change to next that mean uh, global maximum point for the particular condition right so because of change in irradiation now so initially is 1400 600 so it reached that maximum point here so this is a maximum point for that particular condition after one second I, that mean it changed to 400 to 1000 so because of that it changed to the particular uh, that mean the next global maximum point here okay after some time we change that uh, value to 400 because of changing that 400 radiation what happened so it will be finding in a next to global point here right so this is a global point for that uh, 1400 and uh, 600 watt per meter okay so it will be extract the maximum power for a change in irradiation condition under partial shading condition okay under partial shading okay so this is the working of this model and then you can see the different waveform so this is a voltage pv voltage so this is a voltage waveform pv so this is convert to a load voltage this one so this one is this one is pv current so this one is load current so this is a working of this uh, variable step PO and the global scanning MEPT method for PV system under partial shading condition. Thank you.